Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Moon Read. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. The two cards that I had flipped out during the shuffle are or were the King of Cups, Pisces masculine energy, and the Moon, also Pisces energy. So I, I'm feeling as though something may not be revealed to you at the time. Some You have an, a gut feeling that something's not being revealed to you it is really more of the message there. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? We start off with the Four of Wands. This can be a small surprise or a celebration. This is also 1111 Twin Flame card. We'll see what's going on with that in a moment. Also speaks about foundations, marriage. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? So here, Pisces, we now have the High Priestess, Pisces energy, listening to your intuition. I'm also getting the energy off this card about um, intuitively knowing darkness is around you, but intuitively also knowing light is around you. Then we have judgment. This is about your work, your calling, your awakening. Also, the judgment speaks about past life or forgiveness. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Then we have the Five of Cups, some type of disappointment or sadness. What other messages for Pisces, please? Then the Devil. This is Capricorn energy. This could be business or something toxic, narcissism or material. It could be materiality, um, earthy matters, something you're chained to. It can also reference marriage as well. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you. And then we have the Seven of Swords. So now that we have the three bottom cards, the Five of Cups, Devil, and Seven of Swords, I do feel as though there is an energy that is at play right now that you do not necessarily see. It may be hidden from you. Um, that you, you may want to get in touch with your intuition to understand further. For some of you, this can be a business plan as well. Let's just dive in and get clarification. Spirit, what is this Four of Wands? What do you want Pisces to know about this Four of Wands? And we are having the Eight of Swords. So some of you may not know what to do about a foundation or a partnership. What else do we need to know about this Four of Wands? This could also be about matters around home, having some degree of uncertainty or um, not knowing or feeling a little bit stuck. Um, we have, because there is an ending, um, and we see the 10 of pentacles here, which seems to infer it has to do with your security or stability. Let's dive into this one, because these are pretty powerful messages. So what is this eight of swords, please? It could also be that intuitively you may be getting an inkling that an ending is coming in something you think is stable. Um, the 10 of pentacles could be family, um, for some of you, this could refer to surgery. It might even be back surgery on a family member or some type of um, hardship. What is this Eight of Swords, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Swords? Thank you. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So this is, I feel like this is concerns or feeling a little bit stuck around your happiness and your security and stability. What is this Ten of Swords, please? So for this Ten of Swords, wanting to have your wish fulfillment, wanting satisfaction and abundance. The Nine of, Nine of Cups is also Pisces energy, but there's certainly a burden in the way or you your, your wishes. I'm feeling some of you may be giving up on your heart's desire. What is this Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles? What is this Ten of Pentacles, please? And here we have the hangman. So we do see an energy of letting go, release, self-sabotage, self, self 
sacrifice um, with next to the Ten of Swords. This could even be ma martyrdom for a cause, um, sacrificing for a reason. Um, there could be a change around your home, finances, something that you thought was stability or partnership. Um, let's dive into this High Priestess. What is this High Priestess, please? Okay, we have a lot of cards for this High Priestess. Um, the first card here is the Two of Wands. There is a choice or you are on the precipice of a decision or a change. We have the King of Swords, Masculine, Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This may very well be a heartbreaking change here. King of Cups and Two of Swords. You may not see this coming or you, you may not... Um, Let, let me get a card for this Two of Swords, please. What is this Two of Swords, please? Thank you. So for this Two of Swords, we have, you've been waiting for justice, Pisces. This is this area of your life where it seems as though you have had heartache and pain and you've been waiting for justice. Intuitively, you may, you may be starting to question whether justice will be had in this situation and intuitively, um, you, you may feel as though it's out of your hands and there's nothing more you can do here. What is this Three of Swords? Thank you. For this Three of Swords, we're getting the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. You may be faced with something that is heartbreaking or get a message from somebody about having heartbreak. I'm also seeing this Two of Wands as either going in the direction of this King of Swords or going in the direction of this King of Cups. Um, I feel here, if you go in the direction of the King of Cups, there will be some justice or divine intervention that you've been waiting for but here if you go in the direction of the king of swords we have you waiting um continuing to wait so it seems as though the the direction of the king of swords here um very cerebral energy is leading you to more waiting while the direction of the king of cups and this could be personified to people in your life if you have a air sign in your life libra gemini or aquarius and make a decision that involves them, you could be having additional waiting and it would re be required that you listen to your intuition for further guidance. If you choose the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it could be anywhere aspected in the chart or they could have that behavior. You might have a little bit more waiting, but um, it will be taken out of your hands to do anything and put in the hands of justice. What is this judgment card for Pisces? What is this judgment card for Pisces? So it's really important to listen to your intuition here about choices that are upcoming. We have that Hierophant. What else do we need to know about the judgment here? And the Eight of Cups. So Pisces, you could very well be walking away, making, making a decision to walk away from an organization, a belief structure, a commitment, or a Taurus. Um, here we have something i feel so something is rooted in the past that you have not been satisfied or happy with for quite a while you want to go towards your nine of cups but where you currently are you do not believe you will see the fulfillment of your nine of cups your your happiness your wish fulfillment so now it seems that the changes that are taking place or the options before you are putting you in a position of contemplating your next move whether it's going to be um, walking away and moving on or otherwise. or So now what is this Five of Cups for Pisces? Let me get a different deck. Um, what do we need to know about this Five of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Five of Cups? Something very disappointing here. Or somebody around you could be disappointed as well. So we have the Six of Cups, a disappointment with the past. What is this? Six of five of cups. What is this? Thank you. So here we have the six. So we have a progression from the six of cups to the seven of cups to the empress. Well, not the progression from the seven of cups to the empress. We're seeing a progression here from the five of cups, six of cups, and seven of cups. So you have a sadness that is rooted in the past where there was um, unrealistic expectations. I'm even hearing some of you may have been gaslighted. Um, made to feel as though you had a role in somebody's life or or had some vital um, importance, which you do. However, 
the person seems to have gone in a different direction. There's something very um, disappointing here. Let me get clarification for this. What is the six of, um, I'll get another deck for this as well. What is the six of cups, please? What is the six of cups, please? And the six of cups is the four of cups. So we're getting more and more progression. There's a disappointment about something financially or having to do with family or a relationship connection. Um, what is the seven of cups? And this could be news coming in or something that's been ongoing. Here we have the ace of cups, the temperance and chariot. So the seven of cups here, it could be representing you have a disappointment that's rooted in the past and now the seven of cups is a time for you to have new visions have new goals go towards a new emotional beginning so you're you'll be able to heal and regain balance in your life after this has occurred however this is whatever you you may be contemplating walking away from um or alternatively somebody could have walked away from you but i'm feeling more this is your leaving energy and moving forward to something new um, that is going to be much more abundant and, and let's just be real happy for you. Um, what is this Empress, please? What do we need to know about this Empress? So if you guys are going through a moment of loss or a time of trials and tribulations, um, once you walk away from that burden, you're going to be walking into something that is going to grow. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. The Justice making the decision to go in the direction of the king of cups where you're making a diplomatic or logical <clears throat> hold on one second guys let me get a sip <clears throat> all right so making a decision to go in the energy of the king of cups having an emotional mastery over a situation being very diplomatic making logical head over heart decisions is going to lead you to a place where your garden is going to grow by divine intervention However, if you go a legal route or go in the King of Swords directions, it seems as though if even if you're, you are more cold about a situation, you're going to have heartbreak and it's going to take you longer to overcome this. Um, so a decision to move on is I'm, I'm, I'm pending. Um, I'm, I'm, what is the word spirit? Maybe likely. I'm thinking I am P something, but I can't think of the word. Um, anyway. I, it's more like pending, but here making this decision is going to take you out of a disappointing situation and actually um, put you in a place of a new opportunity that is going to be able to grow and give you abundance. Um, so it's very important that um, you, you may be focusing on what is not working, but there's a lot that is unfolding for you. So please be m mindful of your own mindset about the difficulty that you may be encountering because a lot is actually working for you we have the temperance card things are coming together um sometimes when we think we're stuck or stagnant it's just the universe catching up with our progress other times when you think things are falling apart they're actually falling into place these are very important messages that Spirit wants you to know for this message. What is this devil, please? What do we need to know about this devil? Through this change, some of you might decide to start a business and create a business plan. Um, here we have in this devil, the tower. Okay, Pisces. The tower comes directly after, after the devil. If you do not release yourself from the situation or release whatever this is, divine is coming in to reconstruct it for you. Um, let's get some more information here on this devil. We have the tower, the king of swords. So we have the king of swords twice here anyway. Stress and anxiety about, you know, this is drama or fighting or competition. This is interesting. I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to clarify these in a moment. But I'm going to get a different deck and clarify this devil because I'm not getting 100% clarity on it. What is the devil? What is this devil, please? What is this devil for Pisces? What is Pisces? Thank you. Ten of Wands. This is a burden. So it's definitely something that's unhealthy and a burden in your life that spirit has been wanting you to change or remove. Um, so you're not carrying it on your back. This is something that you may think is a 
is something you want, but it's actually causing you um, difficulty to carry. The load is too heavy to carry on yourself by yourself. This is, could also be a message coming in. Remember how we said up here a message about a family member or an illness. Um, we don't have the four of swords, so I don't feel like it's an illness of yours, but it it might be. A, it's definitely some type of hardship. What is this tower? What is this tower, please, for Pisces? For this tower, Pisces, we have the Six of Wands. You are going to overcome this. No matter what it is, you're going to overcome, and there's going to be a new opportunity. Um, this could even be a message coming through suddenly that helps you to break a mindset. What is this King of Swords? For this King of Swords, Pisces, we are getting the Ten of Wands again. Let's see, one two, three times we have the Ten of Wands. Do we have it one more time? Um, and the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So I feel strongly here, there might also be a, a, somebody with Earth in their chart around you. This could, for some of you, this could be a message to do with a family member, maybe a mother or an aunt. Um, I feel as though there's not too much you can do about this, but the Tower, I feel, is going to be news coming in about something that has occurred. What is this King of Swords? What is this King of Swords, please? Or something you find out. Nine of Swords again, and the Seven of Swords. So when this news comes through, it might be shocking. You, you will be able to overcome this, but it could be very stressful. And you may need, you may feel about, I'm, I'm hearing you may feel cheated. Um, what is this Nine of Swords here? Because we have the Nine of Swords next to each other. What is this Nine of Swords, please? For some of you, this is talking about your workplace and the behind the scenes chatter that's been going on. And here we have the high, the Emperor. This is a person in a position of leadership. Um, one more card for the Nine of Swords. One more card for this Nine of Swords, please. Yeah, so you, you may also have a sudden communication from a person in power or I'm going to clarify these further. Spirit, what is this emperor, please? Wow. Okay, hold on one second, guys. So what we have here, the Ace of Pentacles clarifying this tower. Some of you may suddenly have opportunities. I know this is going back and forth, but this is a lot of, um. what is the word for the energy that is unfolding at a fairly rapid rate? And there's a lot of power behind it. Um, if, if we look at the layout of the cards, it's like things stacked on stacked and stacked and stacked on top of each other. So there's a lot of dependencies here. The Emperor is the Ace of Pentacles. What is this tower? So this is a new beginning, Pisces. As this tower comes in to break you free from this devil, you are going to have a new opportunity that you would not have otherwise had. What is this Five of Wands? And it's the world. So it's going to bring an end to the, the drama, the chaos, the competitive behavior. What is the Seven of Swords, please? What is the Seven of Swords, please? We have the Five of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Swords, please? What is the Seven of Swords, please? Thank you. Four of Cups. One more card here. And the Hierophant again. So we're having the Hierophant come three times. This could be a Taurus in your life that you find out is in ill health. Um, what is this Five of Pentacles? What is this Five of Pentacles, please, Spirit? This is definitely some type of hardship for somebody. Um, there's stress and anxiety here. Again, a lot of stress and anxiety about a message. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Again, it might have to do with something financial. The King of Swords, for some of you... There might be an attorney or legal matters involved. What is this Four of Cups? When this news comes to you, you may not be open to receiving it. Then we have the Page of Swords, but there are there is going to be, I feel, somebody coming towards you speaking a truth. You may have already had it with this person, though. Like, I don't I don't care what you have to say. Um, what is this Hierophant? And here, this Hierophant is the King of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Um, you may definitely be closed off to this person because they may have um, 
the king of wands can be a very egoic person um just as the devil is you may have broken away from this person um and they're coming back to give you some type of message but it, with the seven of swords i would be concerned about their intentions because they have the five of cups they they're in a position of need and lack and perhaps even ill health um so the energy that might be present in this situation or this person um you would want to definitely be on guard against so it does not enter your energy because energy is transferable spirit thank you and we have base chakra this is the time to make sure that you you are sound and stable and and grounded one more card for the over thank you lots of energy here we have mental conflict so there may be choices about what to do going forward one more card please thank you and solar plexus chakra remain centered remain in your power um remain in faith and connection with divine as well during this time um there it seems as though a lot we have many tens and we also have nines so something is coming to a close there may be decisions i just heard decision to stay or to go and that decision is going to influence the new opportunities or successes that will follow. So I feel as though the walking away or moving on from something, that decision um, may be in your best interest as it seems as though the situation or person or energy has been quite disappointing and has not panned out as you had thought it would, even if you've given it time after time or go after go. It seems here that it's definitely time to release something that you have wanted, but has in fact become a burden one oracle for pisces please one oracle for pisces please spirit wow this is a lot so we i'm just going to read the the main captions here and i'll get these in a second so villain you can always rewrite the story so something's definitely going on people might be talking about your back we had the um feather think before first before you judge. So there's going to be a lot going on and be mindful that you're not jumping to conclusions about a situation, that you're slowing yourself down to enable yourself, seven of pentacles, to process that information and take time to listen to your intuition and make sure you're hearing correctly. Clover, release your guilt. There might be guilt associated with the situation, but there's nothing more you can do. It, the, the decisions, the energy has already been done flower be honest with yourself so it's important that you're honest with yourself about this situation you don't need someone else to fix you you are okay pisces no matter what is happening or what is going on you are going to be okay and you are okay you have gold this is the radiance that you have within yourself you have been broken before and you have been melded back together with gold you you can survive anything here then we have nostalgia, focus on the here and now. So we do have energies from the past um, that may be coming forward. We have judgment, which is past coming forward. Um, but Spirit is saying, you know, understanding things may have occurred in the past, but they are in the past and you cannot change them by focusing on them, by worrying about them. The only way to go is forward and then voyage. You already have all the answers. So you've seen what you've needed to see. You've heard what you needed to hear. You've experienced what you needed to experience. And now it seems as though it's coming to a pivotal junction of making a decision about um, whatever this is for you. Um, one oracle, then we'll close it out. One oracle for Pisces, then we'll close it out, please, Spirit. Black Cat. There's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leading home. So you are on the precipice of a great change. We have the tower in here twice. We have the two of wands about decisions, judgment about decisions. We have endings with the ten of tens. We have near endings with the nines. And then spirits reiterating the, the matter of the fact that you are on a journey. You have been through difficulty, you have been broken, and you are now a new version of light because within your cracks, you have filled that with gold, and now you will return with, with light. We started off this reading mentioning the high priestess. This is intuitively seen between the light and the dark. 
this is what may be presenting to you right now is being able to discern different energies, different intentions, and different paths forward. This is what I have for you, Pisces. God bless.